Hello! Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be seeing some outrageous things that rich people have said. Okay, so let's see just how outrageous they are. Let's go. Really look into your eyes and ask you something insane. It was my second year of college, right? And I was sitting next to this classmate of mine and he was having an argument with his parent on the phone, right? I was trying to focus on the lecture, but I couldn't help but try to overhear the conversation. The classmate then turns to me and he goes, hey, can you help me settle an argument with my father on the phone? I was like, yeah, sure, what is it? He goes, how many times a year do you go sailing? Never. Come here. I was like, I'm sorry, sailing? He's like, yeah, you and your family. Never. How many times a year do you guys go sailing on your guys' Never boat? in your life. I said, we don't. We we don't have yeah. a boat. And he goes, oh, I'm about? so sorry, a yacht. I didn't mean to be rude. I'm like, oh, no, no, that's not the rude part. I'm like, that's just an even bigger no. We don't have a yacht. It's just an even bigger goes, well, no. what do you guys do in the summer? <laughs> Come here. I said, in the summer, I go to Subways when they're about to close because they give me free food at night. I don't think I make <laughs> enough money to be listening to this question. I'm not going to lie to you. People who grow up with money, like... At the end of the month, like, pretty much any of it, you have $30,000. Yeah. But when bills and... Like, well, how, what car is answerable? We Wait, you're telling me that if you got you got $30,000 a month, that would not pay your bills? Yeah, let's well, say like... I'm trying to think of like monthly bills. Okay. Yeah, like, the, ju uh, like so just for one month, $30,000 would not pay your bills? Are they confused with like 3000 kind of thing. Yeah, that's you don't know? Okay, let's People who grow up with money like literally look oh into your eyes and ask you something insane. So I went to high school in the design district of my city. So I brought in a lot of rich kids. But the type of rich kids that couldn't outwardly say that they are rich, but it would show. Why? You would know. For example, I lived an hour and 30 minutes away from the school, meaning I had to wake up at 5 a.m. every Ugh. morning since I was 14. So I would it's come in tired a lot. The bags and the, my eyes were not designer. They were teaching bags. <laughs> and so my friends, the rich friends would be like, Sophia, why are you tired? Why do you have bags underneath your eyes? Why are you yawning all the time? And I'd be like, oh, because I woke up at 5 a.m. to go to school. And they're like, why? What, what, what do you mean why? They're like, yeah, I, I just had to wake up like 10 minutes before school. I just drove here. Oh, what man. do you mean you drove to the design district? You have a car? <laughs> yeah. I thought we all took public transportation. No. People who grew up with money, like, literally yeah, the people who had cars in school. Ask you something insane. Their own cars. When I was eight years old, I had rich, one rich, rich, rich. <laughs> we didn't know when you're eight years old that what rich and what not rich is. Yeah, you and do. There was a birthday party. I feel like you do. At his country club. I feel like you know once party. you're around other kids. I didn't tell my parents it was for a birthday party. I was just, hey, I'm going to Ben's. Um, country club and swimming in the pool. My mom was like, all right, we'll drop you off. I knew it was a birthday party. So <laughs> with my swim trunks, I put like one of my like used like Charlotte Hornets baseball caps as <laughs> a gift and I just put it in a plastic sack and I created like a happy birthday card. Well, that's nice okay, of hold you. Hold on. So when we- I'm sure your mom would have helped if you told her the truth. <laughs> He's getting okay at the time. Super Nintendo was just brought out, so this would be equivalent to getting a How's PS5. The focus? Sorry. His parents got a Super Nintendo. I Obviously, I was this. excited because it was going to be at his house every day. Okay. But his friends, who parents knew, sorry, sorry, were sorry. getting him Super Nintendo okay. games, and I'm like starting to panic. Sort of working. <laughs> like they were nicely wrapped Super Nintendo games, Ninja Turtles, like really cool gifts, like because they are all wealthy. And then they get to my and it's the grocery store with the dirty used old hat. Charlotte Hornets baseball cap <laughs> oh in my there. God. and a happy birthday card for me. At that moment, I was like, I don't belong. Yeah. I, 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 I That's lost it. That's the moment you I knew like, you were poor. <laughs> I forgot to tell my parents that it was Ben's birthday. We'll get him something later. I was like, if you don't want to give me a piece of cake, I understand. <laughs> Can I at least still swim in the swimming pool? <laughs> People who grow up with money, like, literally look into your eyes and ask you something insane. One day, me and my Italian ex, uh, who is from Italy, by the way, he, he was born in Italy, goes, like, let's hang out. And I okay. say, uh, I'm working. I can't hang out tonight. Aww. And he's like, but aren't you a student? And I'm like, yeah. I am a student, so what? And he's like, students don't work. And I go, yeah, they yeah, do. They do. <laughs> Most of us do. Multiple and he jobs. he was like, 
convinced that that wasn't true. And I was trying to explain to him like that most people work and he was like, I don't know, I, I, I work after I'm done. And I'm like, I've had a job since yeah, 14. Same. What do you mean you work after 13, you're done? Like, do your parents pay for it? It's like, oh, my parents don't work either. Like, how do you not work and your parents don't work? What do Generational your grandparents money. do? He was confused because his granddad sold weapons to Saddam Hussein and he thought that I was weird, that I was the abnormality. People who grew up with money, like, literally look into your eyes and ask you something. So we're all <sighs> eating lunch. My coworker has just moved to Canada, and she's telling us about an apartment she just saw. The landlord just can't pass me over. Like, what can I do to make him choose me? Yeah. I was like, look at your budget. Like, if you can offer, like, 50 to to $100 more a month, like, offer that. And it might just be, like, done and dusted, and he gives it to you. And my other coworker's, like, sitting off to the side, not really involved in the conversation, but, like, on the outskirts of it, leans in and is like, babes. <laughs> Why don't you just offer to pay the year up front? Like, it's that's illegal, that's did. why. Like, dip into that savings account. Apparently, you're not allowed to do that. All of us are silent. I just, like, stare at her and I'm like, why are you so stupid? Just buy the building. <laughs> month to month? Idiot. Just, just buy, buy the, the whole building. building. People who grow up with money, like, literally look into your eyes and ask you something insane. He's so funny because the rest of the video, he's like, they ask something crazy, like, do you ski? And I relate to that so much because I grew up in Washington state where there's a lot of white people and there's a lot of rich white people. And I am not that. I am Asian and Polynesian and didn't grow up with money. And I grew up with a lot of white friends and they were always like, do you snowboard, do you ski? Or do your parents take you to Snoqualmie? Or do your parents take you to Stevens Pass? And I was like, pardon? like. My parents are taking me to Sizzlers on the weekend. Is that even a thing What's anymore? What's that? My parents are taking me to Denny's. Like, mm. people who honestly, if you go money, out to like, eat, literally look into your eyes and ask rich. me something <laughs> insane. So my wife didn't grow up rich, but she grew up very comfortable in a in a fairly affluent neighborhood, and I grew up in poverty. Um, Twins. But she, one time when we started dating, said to me in random conversation, "Do you remember when you used to have like astronauts come speak at your school?" You know, like from the, the ones that were like the dads of your classmates. <laughs> <laughs> no, I do not no, remember. Never. People who grow not up with close. money, like literally look into your eyes and ask you something insane. I was applying for colleges umpteen many, many moons ago. I had a guidance counselor look me smack dab in my eye and ask me, well, why can't you just borrow the money for family? Huh. To my for college? For what? From what family? You mean this private institution right here <laughs> that's charging people twenty thousand dollars to be here? Oh, baby, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't kidding to nobody like that. Ain't, ain't nobody in my family like that. And if they is, they damn sure ain't let me know that we was of any kind of relation. Right. And the better question is, who you kin to? And the the follow up question is, what you doing later? <laughs> Cause I'm trying to put my kids in this family. Seems to me. I need to go on and take college off the table and put you on it because you are the college yeah. plan. My kids is the way that it's looking right now. I could only pay for college because of grants. So eight o'clock, sounds good. When I was a barista at a coffee shop, um, I was kind of standing there cleaning maybe? up one day behind the counter. And then the people that were like sitting out in the lobby at a table were talking about something and they were like all pharmaceutical reps and like that. And so one of them says something like, imagine a really, really poor person, like a really like poor person, like someone who makes like $52,000 a year. <laughs> and all of me and Never everyone made else just stopped because like I was the manager and I was making $27,000 yeah, a year. So rich people can get. People who grow up with money, like, literally look into your eyes Kidding. and ask you something insane. So there's this fundamental difference between people who grew up with money and people who grew up without money. Uh, the other day I was having a conversation with someone. Well, they were just answering questions that I absolutely did not ask. Mm -hmm. uh, but they told me that uh, they have a new neighbor, has kids, and they just moved in. Uh, they sent their kids over to play with the new neighbor kids. And when their kids came back, they... We're telling them about how few toys they have and how they don't have the new Xbox. And I'm like, congratulations, you already taught your kids to be judgmental little mm, Yeah. But then uh, she says that she told her husband, hey, we're going to the trampoline park next week. You think we should invite the neighbor kids? Yeah. 
And her husband points out and says, well, do you really think they can afford to do that? Because they don't have all, they don't have all that many toys. And I'm like, what the, like, if I invite someone to go do something with me, I'm doing so with the full intention of paying for however we're going to get there, the tickets to get in, any food or drink that we get and the way back. And I'm not expecting for them to give me any money. Otherwise, like what the f- why would i invite and it's just wild to me because like it's not about the money if i'm inviting you to go somewhere it's because i want you to come with it come with me to go there what hey do you want to go do this thing with me uh i don't really have the money for that right now did i ask you if you had any goddamn money chill chill chill, chill. calm down calm down that's what i thought grab your coat <laughs> I've been on the both sides of that conversation, and yeah. that's exactly how it goes. Like, I don't know, rich people, you just, you weird to me, and, like, I don't think we'll ever, like, get along in that yeah. regard. Like, I try not to be a judgmental person, but if I, if I see you ask someone to Venmo you their half of the bill, I'm judging the f- out of you. People who grew up with money, like, literally look into your eyes and ask you... Back in college, I was sitting next to this girl, behind this girl actually, it was a big class, like 100 series, like big lecture hall, 300 kids. But I was sitting behind her. It wasn't uncommon to have your laptop and be, you know, messaging your friends or doing stuff, whatever. But my nosy ass wanted to see what she was doing. And so she was on the Tesla website and she got to the most expensive one, decks it out. And I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. I do that with my friends, you know, go buy it. And go pretend like, to buy out. expensive cars, see what kind of specs it would be. But no, this car came out to like $116,000. And then she pulled out her credit card and ordered yeah. it. <laughs> and it even had the pop-up confirmation. Thanks for your order. Your expected delivery date is 2018. Whoa. I was like, who does that? People who grew up with money, like literally look into your eyes and ask you something. I had this coworker. <laughs> Amazing. Her husband was like the a step... Well, I don't want to give too many details, but he was like very high up in McDonald's corporate. So they were making a lot of money. Anyway, she's talking about this woman and upset at her. She was trying to put some woman down and she calls her low rent. Low rent. She says that low rent. (laughs) Ma'am, low rent? I've heard white trash, low class, whatever. Low rent? I was like, yeah, this is what I was thinking. Do I? Do I have, am I a low rent? I wish I was. My goodness. When I was in middle school, I moved from Ethiopia, Africa to Manhattan in New York City. This meant I went from going to an international community school to a private Catholic school on the Upper East Side. I was quite literally Katie Heron from Mean Girls. As you might imagine, this was very traumatic in a lot of different ways, but it also made me just not understand what was normal and what was not. Also just had no appreciation for how rich these kids were. Now that I live in New York City full time, I'm starting to think back at how crazy things were, specifically around birthday parties. Let me give you an example. I was invited to a 15 person birthday party where they picked us up in a Hummer stretch limo and took us to Dylan's Candy Bar. They had a private party space reserved and everybody got to pick out these massive glass jars of candy to take home. For context, my parents wouldn't even buy me like a bag of candy at Dylan's Candy Bar because it was so expensive. So I think these glass jars were like 75 to $100 a person. This other birthday party I was invited to, it was with about, I think 10 girls at the time. We started the night, all of us getting manicures and pedicures. And then we went over to the Plaza Hotel where I think we had a room block of about four rooms. Once we were at the Plaza Hotel, we ordered room service. So we all got like all these milkshakes, dinner delivered. And I think the next morning we all got breakfast together too. But just think about how much money that freaking cost to do. I just can't imagine it now. My mind is blown. Okay, we're going to end it there. That was like (laughs) really wild. That sounds like the most extravagant party ever, but honestly sounds so fun. And I mean, if you have the money to do it, I think it's okay to spoil your kids sometimes. It's just crazy that people are able to to do that at all. Manny's and petties and rooms and room service. Like, dang, that's a lot. (laughs) Okay, well, thank you guys so much for watching. It's a new month. We're here. Uh, I'll have new videos coming out throughout the week, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.